My friends, it's going to be a crazy busy day for me. In fact, the whole week's going to be crazy busy, and I'm going to get very little done on instruments this week. I'll tell you all about it right after this. friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa String Works Workshop. Today is Tuesday, December 13th, and of course we'll be playing this evening live at Dickie's Barbecue Pit in Rolla, Missouri from 6 to about 8.30. Come join us if you can. Yeah, I mentioned it's going to be a busy, crazy day, and I'll tell you all about it right after this short video clip of a gift I received. Friends, I want to send out a great big thank you to uh, one of our special viewers. First of all, take a look at this. You see how old that looks and how empty that looks? Well, it don't have to be sad no more because take a look at this. <laughs> Got a brand new bottle of it. That's the Be Good Oil, in case you're wondering. I'll hold it still there and let it focus. Yeah, be good uh, wood oil. That's uh, what I use on the fretboards a lot of the time. And I have a real nice note from a wonderful viewer. It says, hi Jerry, I've been following your YouTube videos for a while now and really enjoy all the education I get from them. I was at one of my favorite woodworking shops the other day and was looking for this and you stated it in your video many times. When I found it, I thought I would also get you one as well since it's Christmas time. So Merry Christmas from the Jessup family in Raleigh, North Carolina, and I'll hope to be watching for many, many more years. Brian Jessup. Well, Brian, thank you very much because I was just contemplating about ordering another bottle. Thank you, Brian. I really do appreciate it. To my friends who might be contemplating buying some of this, I will tell you, they don't just give this away. It is relatively expensive. Uh, I'm going to say it's in the neighborhood of $20. It might be more now. So uh, just consider that plus the shipping and everything. So Brian, I really do thank you. It means a lot to me that you would send me a nice Christmas present like that. So thank you very much, Brian. Well, I mentioned I was gonna have an awful busy week and uh, especially today, I'm gonna be making deer antler saddles all day. So the shop's gonna smell real good. <laughs> <laughs> not. That stuff smells really bad. It's not the worst smell, but it sure isn't pleasant either. So I'll be busy doing that all day today, trying to make a couple dozen of those things. And for the record, I'm pretty much out of deer antler, so if anybody has any deer antler laying around, please send it my way. Well, my friends, you can do this if you want to save on your postage. I only need the bottoms. That's, well, I say that. I mean, I can use the other parts you know, over time, but I use a lot more of the bottoms. And like if you take a look at the shortest part here, from that shortest part to the end, I need it to be a minimum of three inches. From the very shortest part here to the long, you know, to here, I need it to be a minimum of three inches. So three and a half inches would be great if you cut them off at three and a half inches and then box them up and send them to me. That would be great if you want to do that. Or if you want to, you can leave the whole skull attached and saw it right between the antlers, right down through the skull, skull plate that they have often. And uh, you know you can you know send them that way. You know having the skull attached is actually uh, preferable because I can get another half inch out of that a lot of times. If it's still attached, it you know it's usually a very solid part of the antler. So I would appreciate any uh, antler you could send my way. Thank you very much. In addition to all that. In any spare minute I've got, I'm working on the Christmas program for Thursday evening, so be sure to mark your calendars for Thursday evening, uh, 7 o'clock p.m. my time. We're going to have about a two-hour Christmas special, and uh, it will be interrupted by a few little uh, video clips. <laughs> Hopefully they're humorous. <laughs> <laughs> the halftime video is actually not humorous. It's a serious video, and I think you're going to enjoy it. That's about all I'm going to say about any of it. <laughs> we'll just see how it goes. You know, this is not Hollywood. Just keep that in mind. <laughs> and that'll be real obvious when you see the video clips. Well, that's about it for today. I'm going to keep it real short. 
I hope everyone's having a wonderful holiday season, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.